In this video, I'm gonna take the legendary Chevy Impala SS from 1996 and turn it into a 2023 model. To me, this is one of the coolest sedans from the 90s. I love this design. It has this typical three box design that is so easy to sketch. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what really makes the Impala SS a special car? To me, it's all about the proportions. It has these old school three box sedan proportions that. I love and that's becoming more and more rare today. So if you were to sketch an Impala SS from a side view to start with, we have these three boxes that we can box up the design in very easily. So we have box number one right here with a pretty long overhang in the front end. And then we have box number two sitting very low and sleek going all the way back to this point. And then we have the big overhang in the rear as well, which then becomes box number three. And from here, we can start to design this car and create a pretty traditional looking uh, sedan by just looking at the proportions of this car. So there we have it guys, if you want to learn how to sketch cars, one of the easiest cars to sketch is definitely going to be the Chevy Impala, both if you want to have it in side view and also in perspective. Just start with the three boxes and have some fun from there. The 90s Chevy Impala SS was a car from a time when the recipe for a performance sedan was a lot simpler. It entailed taking a massive rear wheel drive sedan and fitting it with a naturally aspirated V8 and an automatic transmission. The Impala SS was tr a true 1990s muscle sedan. The 5.7 liter engine in this LT1 variant generated 260 horsepower and 330 pound feet of torque not much by today's standard, but it was still a pretty quick car. Low down torque was a priority when developing this engine for the Impala SS, and even at idle, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Floor it, and this big comfy sedan will take you from zero to 60 miles per hour in just seven seconds. And in its first year, Chevy sold 6,303 vehicles, and every single one of them was black. The Impala SS was only in production from 1994 to 96, and it is a true modern classic. It's a great alternative to the crossover and SUV epidemic we have today, which by the way, was the reason for the cancellation of the Impala SS in 1996, because Chevy simply needed the production line to switch over to building more SUVs, which is pretty sad. That's how it's ended for the uh, Impala SS. Being that the Impala SS is essentially a stripped down Chevy Caprice cop car, it meant it was built tough. Owners claim it was impossible to break in stock form, and it's proven to be a very reliable car as long as you take care of it. It's a sleeper car. I love this design. It blends in well, it's low, stealthy, and it has an appearance like a predator pr patrolling the streets looking for its prey. All right, so let's have a look at this redesign and what's going on. One car uh, concept within the past year that I love for its retro design in combination with new technology is the Hyundai Ioniq uh, concepts, the Envision concept. So I want to take I'm gonna take the 70, I think it's called the 74N concept, and I'm gonna take those taillights and apply it onto this design because I think those are simple enough to be um, in, in the, you know, have the correct personality for a new Chevy Impala SS. I think it would look really cool. And for the wheels, I'm not a huge fan of chrome, but I think I'm gonna have some 
sort of racing inspired chrome wheels onto this car. We also need to lower it closer to the ground if we want to make it a, a modern version of the Impala SS. And I think we're just going to add some body parts and have the body itself stretch further down and then create, uh, take away the, the 90s trim pieces that we have in the, in the middle section of the car. For example, going from the bumper into the side and then into the rear bumper as well. Remove that altogether, have a clean surface on the side and then add a, a uh, baseline for the, the body itself to not make it look like it looks too high. We need to cut it off with a baseline that sits a little lower than halfway up the body, uh, this, the side of the body. And in the rear, obviously, we need to modernize the entire rear end of this car. That means modernizing the, the diffuser and the exhaust as well. And I want to have chrome pipes. I want to have a very simple... Uh, symmetrical design so two big chrome pipes in each corner of the tail end that will kind of tie it together to the chrome wheels so we have a bit a little bit of chrome details in this car and for the deck lid itself i want to create almost like an integrated ducktail in this design not too aggressive because the impala ss is a very uh, simplified design and i obviously want to keep that in this redesign so remove all the chrome parts and the and the make the uh, the trim around the greenhouse black as well and add this duck tail and add almost like a bar in the middle not a light bar we're still gonna have the LED lights with the Chevy logo in the center and no connection between the two lights and then also create a new bumper that doesn't stick out half a meter like it did in the <laughs> in the original Impala SS that's not gonna work today today we have bumpers that are more integrated in the body itself and don't really stick out much some cars don't even have bumpers these days which i think it's interesting uh, but um in this case, I want to have some sort of bumper and also create a, a pretty strong shoulder line that, could, that goes from the front headlights and then stretches across the entire length into this new ducktail that we're going to be designing here in this redesign. And that's my redesign of the Chevy Impala. Looking at it before and after, I think it looks like a modern car, but it still looks like a Chevy Impala. I'm really happy with this result. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see the front redesign of this, you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.